computer, actually. Good morning, I'm Simber Lily Quinn, and I'm often asked by my students and by other players, how am I supposed to practice? We've had a fantastic lesson, now what? So this is, I'm gonna do a long series of how to practice various parts of a practice session, and we're gonna start right now. So go ahead and stand up. And uh, oh, let me tilt this so you can see. So and you should start with some stretching, some basic stretching. So breathe in and raise your hands over your head. And exhale. And breathe in. And exhale. One more time, breathe in. But this time you're gonna exhale, go this way. You don't wanna do bendies, but keep your hips straight, arms over. And then up, and breathe in, and then exhale, that way, good, breathe in, up, you're going to breathe in, and we're going to lean back, but lean back from your back, this is for your neck, this is for your back, so you're going to breathe in, and lean back, just a little bit, and then come forward, and then breathe in, and then round your back, loosening up the back, loosening up the ribs, you see that bonus mechanism. Great. All right, then shake your legs out a little bit. Oh, it's kind of dark in my boots, you can see. I'm shaking my legs out a little bit because we don't just play harp with fingers, play it with the whole body. Okay. So I have a whole 15 minute warm up for this, but I almost never have time to do that exact 15 minute warm up. And I'm really here to show you just a quick one. So something quick like this. Don't forget your hands, however. So you can stretch your fingers. Yep. And your arms up. Twist your arms around. And bring them up and down like this. This opens the shoulders up. And up. Down and up. Down. We'll just do some simple twists. All of this takes two or three minutes. And I think the reason a lot of people skip this step, step you know, myself included, is I think it takes longer than it really does, but it only takes a couple of minutes. All right, and then um, come and sit at the heart. Uh, I am gonna gradually work my way through uh, many uh, exercise books, but I'm gonna start here, because this one is uh, the one I've been using the most. And um, so we're just going to start here with two, uh, two note chords on page one. Thank you, Deborah, for writing this book. I love this book. Uh, so now this is not, I'm not trying to play songs. I'm not trying to get somewhere. I am just doing technical exercises to strengthen my hands and improve my overall technique. So that's what I'm showing you here. And that is how I start my practice sessions. I usually start them with some stretching, but I always start with this stuff. So here in, the, in number one on page one, get Deborah Priya's book to follow along. We're going to work in thirds um, in the key of C, up the heart. Now as I'm doing this, I'm not trying to do it fast. I'm trying to do it accurately and with good form. Am I sitting well at the heart? Am I, do I have my elbow at a good height? Do, are my fingers closing together? Uh, did I remember to cut my fingernails? Yes, I did today. So the first time through, I'm gonna play it and just check and make sure that I'm reading the notes correctly and that it makes sense to me. I'm not too concerned about being exactly in time the first time through, the first couple times through while I'm learning what the exercise is doing. Um, with the thirds, when you're closing, the, the end position is the same. It's the closed hand, closed palm, thumb outside. And when you start, you're going to make your cup, point your fingertips at the soundboard, point your thumb kind of that direction, and but you have this cup that you're pointing at the soundboard, this curved part of your hand. And then to, it's really a misnomer to say 
you pluck the strings, you're really brushing by the strings as you're closing your hand. So you're really closing your hand, this, this motion, it just so happens that your fingers happen to be close enough to the strings to make something happen. So I would call it hand closing or brushing the strings rather than plucking. And I am always working to do this better, to make it more automatic, to make it something I don't have to think about as much when I'm working on more complex pieces. So I'm doing this. And I'm doing it slowly. I'm just checking my form. Like that. Now, if you're looking at Deborah Frio on page one, she does the whole right hand with all the different intervals, um, triads, fifths, sixths, and, and octaves. And I like to do um, one hand on each one. So I do both hands, triads, both hands, fifths, both hands, sixths, and both hands, octaves. So here with my left hand also, um, I'm playing these thirds, as you can written in the key of C. And I'm closing and I'm checking my posture as I'm sitting. And then back down. I'm doing this slower than I would do it normally for myself because I've been doing these exercises for so long. But I want you to see how to do them and what to be thinking about. Uh, correct is such an overused term, um, but what I, what I really want you to be thinking about when you're working on these exercises is having good posture, having good arm position, having good finger position. Like It all comes from the, the feet down here having good seated position, the power comes up through the body, through the back, and out through the arms, and then to the fingers. And so if all your posture is up, upright and relaxed, this is really very, this is a whole lot easier and a lot more powerful. All right, so let's put some metronome on this because I really think that it's very important to work with metronome on the exercises. Oh, that's kind of fast. I was working with a student. <laughs> And sometimes that I get that in my practice sessions too. And so, you know, hey, thank you, good job, good job. Um, and so, you know, that will happen in your practice sessions too. So you might as well see the whole thing. It's not perfect here. Uh, okay, so back to the dogs. By the way, have learned that this is not a someone knocking at the door, but that took a while. All right, so. I've got it set for 80. But you can pick something that feels comfortable for you. Okay, so back to this exercise. So with the right hand, so these are half notes, so this is going to be two clicks per note. One, you can play along with me. One, two, ready, go. important to do with the metronome so that you get the feel of what a half note what all the half notes feel like together there's a lot of you got to feel it in music and this is one way that that does that so okay so then I will do both hands together so this right hand and left hand it's not written that way on this page but I like to do that one two ready go So 
that is uh, for a second. So that's a, a warm up that I would do, and I might do depending on how much time I have. I might do the whole page, uh, page one of the the Deborah for you warm ups here, and always kind of in the same format where at first I play through it, make sure I understand it and count it and, and all of that, and then check my hands, check my posture, and then play through it again with the metronome. And then um, if I, you know, got time and feel like it, then I might do play around with the notes in the exercise and make it into a little improv. So, uh, yeah, so be like this. One, two, ready, go. All the while checking posture. Oops. I didn't do exactly the same thing all the way up or all the way down, but this there's a way to begin to do improv. So what did I do? I just I broke those chords up. Sorry, I forgot to count. I forgot to count this in. So that is a warm up and an exercise that I would do and then go on to work on whatever pieces I'm working on um, for whatever thing I've got coming up next. All right, so uh, next time we'll take a look at page one. We'll look at the fifths and sixths and octaves and probably put those all together in one uh, exercise. And um, if you have questions or you have favorite exercises that you would like me to demonstrate or show, um, or favorite books that you love, definitely let me know. I'm delighted to explore this world of warm-ups and exercises and how do you practice. So there you go. Have a great day.